I don't know how we did it. I mean, and a lot of the time, I don't think we knew even then how we were doing it. It was, and I think that happened again in in on the on the night at the Albert Hall. We we went through a lot of those kind of situations where we just it just we luckily found our way back again. You know, I got threatened with um, execution if I didn't do press rat and war talk by all my family and people who liked it. So. It's the first time we've ever done it live. Uh, um, we've never done Badge live before either, because that was on the Goodbye album. So, you know, there's a lot of things we're doing that, that's new. <laughs> Ginger certainly never did Press Rat and Warthog. <laughs> I, thought, I found that very moving. The first night we did it, I was <laughs> close to tears. I don't know why. But that was the one that really got to me, you know. We had a big following, you know. But there was no way that... I mean, when we first walked, walked on on the Monday night, I think it, it took all of our breath away how much... Um, how much anticipation and what a welcome we got, you know. It was incredible. And we never would have had anything like that back then. So it felt very... I mean... It, it was kind of heightened to to a high degree, and I think um, it made me, for instance, want to want to get it really right. And I never really, we never really had that concern either. When we were when we were in our heyday, we were fairly careless about. Our, I mean, our attitude was pretty cavalier. I mean, sometimes one of us would just walk off or get ill, or you know, it was just crazy. I mean, it was much, it was very chaotic, and and I think this time we took it much more seriously because there was an incredible responsibility and, a, and quite a lot of pressure to do it to do our best so i think it was uh and i mean if we do it again i don't think it'll ever have that kind of impact the way it certainly impacted us on at the albert hall the way to stop being nervous is to sort of put it down oh god you know it's just another bloody gig that attitude and if you relax yourself in that way then you, you don't have nerves and you play you know nerves can destroy everything if everybody's nervous it doesn't work you know everybody's got to be relaxed and confident you know which we are i think I think the other two were probably more nervous than I was, but they always have been. Um, I don't, nerves, it doesn't happen with me at all. It doesn't bother me at all. I prefer the more people there are there, the better I like it. <laughs> people help you play. They do. Shivers, that's why I'm <laughs> Shivers down my spine. Very nervous, but uh, once we started, it was okay. Wiped down lots of bananas. Okay. <laughs> Having instigated it all at least a year ago, and um, when it was on the drawing board, it was all fine. But as time went by and the closer we got to rehearsals, I felt this. Um, I felt like my feet were dragging. <laughs> I mean, it was just. I thought, well, I maybe I don't know. What, I mean, I, what if? I mean, I, all these thoughts were going through my head. We've created. I've. I've probably kick this thing into play and what if it just what if we fight you know what if we don't just like being in the same room and there was like on the first during the first week there was a little bit of pressure and we had one little skirmish and after that it was great because I think we all realized that we were very lucky to be able to do this I mean we are fortunate that we can do this so we put all of that to one side and um and I think when we got through that week and on the Friday night, and especially the fact that it seemed musically to me anyway to build to the point where Friday night was clearly, you know, the the consummate gig. And and then I just went home and I, cr you know, that weekend I crashed and I, I thought, well, that's it. I mean, it's all, I can just re re rest and relax now. We We pulled it off, you know. I felt it was a great achievement. It was incredibly moving, uh, and then it just felt completely uh, natural, like we had just we have a kind of residency, you know. <laughs> Once every forty years or so, we get together at the Albert Hall. 
it was like we'd been on holiday for a couple of weeks, not 37 years, you know. And it's quite amazing. Yeah. I think it would be um, crazy not to. I mean, as long as we can, I think it's something... It's good for... I, I found it very good for me to, to have to stretch that much. And also to touch upon those kind of musical values, which I haven't been around for a long time, the way those guys play and approach the music. It w it's very much part of my fabric of my life, you know. So I think, we all, I think we ought to, you know, if we can, probably maybe later in the year or next year, whenever it seems right, to, to stage a couple more, maybe go to America, you know, so that people can see us there. The more we played together, the kind of, uh, the more that happened, you know, which is obviously what's going to happen. Um, it just got better and better for me, yeah. So we should do some more. <laughs> I didn't think it would ever happen. <laughs> I really didn't think it would ever happen. But I'm very glad that it did. <laughs> well, that was great. We done? I think so. I mean, I think you've said everything that we... Okay, know. jolly good.